According to the Intelligence Center of the Estonian Defense Forces, this week the Russian occupation forces intensified their attacks and took control of the initiative in the Luhansk and Donetsk regions. According to information received from Estonian intelligence and published by ER with reference to data from Estonian intelligence, the main fighting took place on the Avdiivka-Marinka line in Donetsk region and Kupiansk Svartov in Luhansk region. Average daily attacks by the Russian occupiers reached 64, which shows their ability to keep Ukrainian forces under constant pressure with enough manpower and equipment. The area of the front near Avdiivka is likely to remain the main point of tension where the Russian occupiers will concentrate their efforts, the intelligence center claims. Despite significant losses on both sides, the Ukrainian defense, according to the latest reports, remained stable. However, Estonian intelligence does not exclude the possibility of capturing Avdiivka, especially if the Russian armed forces continue to send significant reserves to this part of the front. Deterioration of weather conditions, which causes impassibility of roads, also affects the course of hostilities. According to Estonian intelligence, the movement of heavy equipment and armoured vehicles is expected to become more difficult during the next month, or two when the ground does not firm up after the frost. It is expected that both the armed forces of Ukraine and the Russian occupiers will seek to strengthen their positions before the onset of winter, Estonian intelligence reports.